Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here are two questions which are related to constraint and index. The first question is, is it possible to create a primary key or unique key on a column that is already indexed? And the second question is, will removing a primary key or unique key also drops the associated index? So since both these questions are related to each other, I'm going to explain through two scenarios. The first scenario is we are just going to create a table and we are going to add a primary key constraint for that table. So once a constraint is added, it will create an underlying index. So we are, we are just going to check whether an index is created or not. And we are going to check whether a constraint is also created or not. And then we are going to drop the primary key constraint. And then we are going to check whether the index got dropped and we are going to check whether the constraint got dropped. Scenario 2 is also exactly very similar to scenario 1 with one small change. Okay, here we are going to create a table and then we are going to create an index for any one column and we are going to check whether the index is created properly or not in the underlying data dictionary table. After that, now we are going to create a primary key on the column on which we have created the index. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to check whether an additional index got created or not. Then we are going to check whether the constraint got created by checking in the underlying metadata tables. And then we are going to drop the primary key. Now we are going to check whether the index get dropped. Also, we are going to check whether the constraint got dropped or not. Okay. Now let us see both these scenarios. First, let us start with the scenario one. I'm going to create the table. Now the table is created. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to alter the table to add a constraint that is a primary key constraint on the employee number column. Now you can see the table is altered. That means the primary key constraint is created, right? Now that the constraint is created, now let us check whether there are any index created or not. So I'm just going to check under the user index data dictionary table for this specific table like EMP1, which we have created just now. If you can see here, so by adding a primary key constraint, Oracle has automatically created index, which is a normal index, nothing but a B tree index for this employee table. And the, the index name would be very similar to the constraint name, right? Now the index is created. Now let us check in the user constraint table to check whether the constraint is created. Yes, the constraint is also created. You can see this is the constraint name, which is a primary key constraint created on the EMP table one, right? Now what we are going to do, we are just going to drop the constraint. So let me alter the table to drop the constraint. Yes, table is altered. Now let us check whether the index is dropped or not. Now you can see an index is dropped. Also, let us check whether the constraint is dropped. Obviously, the constraint is also dropped. So in the scenario one, by dropping the constraint, the underlying index and the constraint get automatically dropped. Now let us redo the same exercise for scenario two. With one small change, we are just going to create the index just before adding the constraint, right? Now let us redo the same example here. So first I'm going to create a table called employee two, right? Now the table is created. Now as a second step, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the index. So this is a user defined index. In the first case, we are not defining any index. So in the second case, we are explicitly creating an index, right? So let me first create the index. So I've created an index named EMP2 IDX user defined, right? Now that index is created, let us check whether the index is available in this metadata table. Yes, you can see that we created one index called EMP2, which is nothing but a B3 index on this table EMP2 and it is a non-unique index because I didn't create any unique index here, right? Now let us just check whether the constraint is there. Obviously it won't be there because we didn't add any constraint till now. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are just going to add, alter this table to add a primary key constraint on employee number column. So let me alter it. Yes, the table is altered. Now let us check whether the constraint is created. Obviously the constraint is created, yes. Now let us check whether this primary key addition introduced a new index or not. Now if you see, this alter statement that is adding a primary key constraint is not introducing any new index. Instead, Oracle is using the existing index. Okay, how can we confirm that? Yes, let us let us drop this constraint here. Now I'm altering this table to drop the constraint. Yes, 
constraint is dropped let us check in the constraint metadata table to check whether there is a constraint or not yes constraint is completely dropped but now if you go and check in the user index table the index is still present so the answer for the second question is it depends on what type of index if the index was created as part of constraint creation then a drop constraint statement would drop the index also but if the index was a user defined index then the drop constraint statement will not drop the index okay so now let us quickly look into the oracle documentation for this so here is the oracle documentation for both the scenarios whatever i have showed you the first scenario is oracle database uses an existing index if it contains a unique set of value before enforcing a primary key so this is nothing but what we have seen in the scenario 2 if no index can be used then oracle generate a unique index so that is what we have seen in our scenario 1 similarly with respect to the dropping the constraint if the primary key was created using an existing index that is what we have just seen in the second scenario then the index is not dropped if the primary key was created using a system generated index then the index will be dropped that is what we have actually seen in the scenario 1 i hope i have answered for both the questions so if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been answered as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series if you're not able to find your question here please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post us a new video if you've learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new future video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video